What's up guys, it is Starflorge here and today we have a brand new build for you. Now it is a two-handed tank build. Uh, it's very different and it's kind of something new that I haven't seen before and it's a two-handed champion. Uh, now the way this works is that you will hopefully be able to literally challenge anyone to a duel to the death, even with people around you, and therefore survive. And that is the main focus in this build. Now obviously I will do the end game build which is up to like level 27 and then I will continue on getting some key spells that can help improve the build massively and then also some just getting all of the passives because as you guys know the passives do help by um, giving you things like plus three strength. Now let's get into the actual build up to level 28. Now we're going to take the mighty blow uh, first and then take up the easy target. Uh, when they are knocked down you will do 300% more damage. Now if you can knock them down it's very very useful uh, and if you're not soloing which I will be in this video it can be used as a detonator which is very nice. Next we're going to go into the block and slash and then the damage bonus and guard. Now the other one does more damage in a circle but I find the uh, damage plus guard helps a lot with it, especially with what you are trying to do with a block and slash. It's not mainly an offensive spell but you do get 200% weapon damage anyway and it is an AoE hit. The spinning defense just means it will hit behind you but usually most of your enemies will be in front of you so I find that the flawless defense is so much nicer and you gotta remember it is um, cost per second so don't just sit there with it on waiting to parry uh, try and time it right now we're gonna go down to flow of battle so that every crit reduces our cooldown by one seconds to be able to get into pummel strike which we're going to take the lightning jab uh, it's really nice because it gives you a four second cooldown uh, and this one gives you a three second stun now I prefer the cooldown because I like to use pummel strike quite a lot and it also already has a three second stun and I don't find I really need a six second stun if you feel that you do want that stun by all means go for the staggering strike but I think the lightning jab is much nicer as well as giving you some extra damage now we're going to go into Guard Smasher so we deal 100% more damage to Guard and also you can see we're getting strength just like the Flow of Battle. Then next we're going into the Earth Shaking Strike which is basically a rat, like an earthquake uh, and we're going to take Shattered Ground. Now this does two hits, uh, a damage per hit is 150% and as you see it does two hits and that's when you first hit the ground uh, and it creates a crack and then when it opens up that's the hit. Uh, it has an area effect of 12 meters and that's in a line. It has a cooldown time of 20 seconds and a stamina cost of 50. The duration is 8 seconds of the shattered ground and what this does for 8 seconds is uh, burns the target for 8 seconds dealing 20% weapon damage per second. Now that burning duration of 8 seconds will kind of start falling off when they leave it. So if they keep standing on it obviously it will keep reapplying. So now moving on to the next part we're going to go into a battle master. Take a uh, grappling chain just to be able to get where we want to go. And then get hamstrings. So when we attack from behind they are slowed for 50% for 3 seconds. Then we're going into the nice deep reserve. So when you're below 50 stamina you get a bonus 50% regen rate on your stamina which is extremely nice. Next we're going to take the broken combat roll which has a cooldown time of 2 seconds cost of 20 stamina and obviously taking the coming through upgrade to give it a 250% weapon damage. Next we're going to go into the vanguard where we're going to take war cry so we get lots of guard, 20% uh, guard per enemy, lasts 4 seconds, uh, the duration is for a taunt not the guard, the guard just stays on you for however long it does. Uh, the cooldown time of 24 seconds and a stamina of 35. Then we're going to go into the call to arms because for 10 seconds after using this we get a 200% armor bonus which is extremely nice. So this is ability that for 10 seconds basically makes us take very little damage. And then we're going into untouchable defense to be able to get 25% more guard which is incredible. And then we'll go down to it will cost you now. It will cost you returns 50% of the damage dealt to you so it's just a nice ability when you're getting hit to deal damage. Next we'll go into Livid, so it has a duration of 15 seconds, air effect of 5 meters, it has a maximum of 5 stacks, 
Now the stacks work for the damage reduction and damage bonus. Now you get a damage reduction of 10% per enemy within your 5 meters during the duration. So when there is 5 enemies in that area, you will get 50% damage reduction if there's 4, 40% and so on and so on. Now the damage bonus is actually increased by enemy hit. So if you hit 5 enemies, you will get... 5 stacks increasing your damage by 50% and this has a cooldown time of 32 seconds so it's nice and then we're going to take the upgrade still standing so for each nearby enemy we got gain 20% guard the, you can take the angle of strength if you want but I find the still standing uh, for the survivability is so much nicer now obviously we're going to go to line in the sand next just to be able to get down to wherever we want to go which is first of all to resilience which means we have a 5% chance to stun enemies when we get hit and that stun lasts 2 seconds. And then we're going into bulwark which gives us another maximum guard bonus so we're getting a ton of guard bonuses which is incredible and then we're going down into adamant which means we have a 20% bonus. Uh, armor bonus which is again extremely nice then we're going to go down to to the death which is one of the key spells of this build and take it the on guard now to the death it has a range of 15 meters that you can cast it at someone and when it is on an enemy for every second the enemy damage output is increased by five percent but their dam they, they take five percent more per second at the same time so as long as you have this on which you can have on until they die uh, so you could essentially be against uh, a dragon or something and if you just took no damage whatsoever left this on it for so long you could just go up and one shot it if you really could uh, that would be hilarious I think this does actually work as well for your party if they do damage to it uh, it will do the increased damage as well now this ends if they die or if you get out of the range now it's a 15 meter range so you must stay within 15 meters of the enemy and it doesn't cost anything to maintain so it's extremely nice and the on guard is incredible because while you are uh, while to the death is activated your guard improves so as they take damage you gain 25 percent guard which is incredible so you just put it on the tankiest person or whoever you want to kill the fastest whatever uh, and that will deal with them now we want to click apply and then sort out our action bar and I will show you what you want and here we go this is it now the setup I have is here we go let's go and then there so this is the setup I have which is these four spells so um, number one mighty blow pommel strike then earth shaking strike and block and slash then on the next row you have war cry then combat roll livid and to the death and if you're wondering what the he the dot dot dots it's it's actually a key binding on my mouse which I find extremely useful now let's get into the overall build uh, which you can do when you have basically unlimited points to spend uh, so we're gonna go down the two-handed just to get um, the clear path and shield breaker so mainly they're all mainly all the passives are great for getting these attribute increases but also as you can see your crits can break the enemy and then this if we hit a multiple target we get stamina back Next we're going to go into Battlemaster to be able to get Crippling Blows and a Coup de Grace. Now I'm not explaining these because these are just extras. Um, next you want to get Challenge to be able to get Trust Steel and Cutting Words so we get more damage and more armor. Then we'll go into Weapon and Shield literally to get Turn the Belt, Turn the Blade, Warriors Resolve and then Bear Mauls the Wolves which is extremely useful. So we'll apply that and there you go that is the full build for complete late game um, and I will actually be fighting with the previous one or the just end game build so I won't have like any of these attributes and obviously as always it will be on nightmare with all the trials on so let's get into this so guys I'm really sorry to say that we won't be having any combat for this build because for some reason my recording just wants to not work and it is extremely annoying but anyway so that you guys aren't thrown in with nothing I will go through some ways of how to play this build so that you have some form of idea so what you want to do is first of all target high health or high priority targets with your to the death so that they will start taking more damage and that you and that you can get the maximum amount of guard from them 
Then, usually you would use a combat roll or a pummel to close the gap, and then when you're near uh, multiple enemies or just a enemy, you would pop livid so that you start getting some damage bonus and also you get a bit of guard, and so that you can start really racking in the damage. Now, once you've done this, odds are you want to uh, smash them down with the one mighty blow so that they are knocked down and once they are knocked down you probably want to war cry because at this point you will probably only have a small amount of guard and you want to use war cry to be able to get as much guard as you can and then also increase your armor so that you take very little damage then after this it's kind of normal rotations you want to use your block and slash whenever you can to counter any attacks that's if you need to there's not always a necessity to use block and slash even when they're attacking you you can just attack back always try and keep livid and to the death up as they are very key spells to this buffing your warrior extremely and also when you've got war cry use it because it's very effective or save it for those times you think you will need a very high amount of defense so then when you are killing things single target you want to try and block and slash to then knock them down then mighty blow for extra damage and then pummel strike uh, or you could just kind of pummel strike mighty blow and then smack them in the face when it gets to AOE you're gonna want to use the earth shattering strike and then combat roll now you don't always have to combat roll you could just mighty blow them down so that they cannot move anywhere but that is kind of the general gist of the build. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I will also be releasing the highest warrior damage ever dealt in one single blow, literally in like a matter of a second. Hope you guys enjoy that video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.